Following an NCAA tournament win by the BYU women's volleyball team Friday, fans stuck around the Smith Fieldhouse to catch a glimpse of the men's team for the first time this season. While some teams on campus have a preseason inner squad match, the volleyballers host an alumni game. This is always kind of the culmination of what we've been doing in the fall and kind of a chance to measure ourselves a little bit. The alumni team was loaded with five former All-Americans, including three-time Olympian and 2008 Olympic gold medalist Ryan Millar. Just having him around and just, you know, kind of seeing his work ethic and how he go, goes about his business was really valuable for the guys up front. Millar may have been the biggest name there, but he was not the only big shot. There was Michael Burke, fifth all-time on BYU's career solo blocks list. Assistant coach Rob Nielsen also suited up for the boys in blue. And the young buck, Rob Stoll, second in kills only to Millar, went head-to-head -head with his former teammates just a few months removed from his senior season. It's a lot different. We're going to move a little slower on this side. The ball, the ball seems like it goes a lot faster on this side than it does on that side. But it's fun. It's fun to be back. Uh, I really miss being the Jim Erickson with the guys. Sure, the team lost some key players from last season, like Stoll and Futi Tavana, but the Cougars have plenty to be excited about after watching freshman phenom Ben Patch suit up in blue and white for the first time. Got unreal physical gifts, you know, he jumps a ton, he's got a live arm, and it doesn't hurt that he's really tall, he's a 6'7", 6'8", kid. To be honest, it was really nerve-wracking, kind of stepping onto the court, because Pro was my hometown, and. You know, a lot of people helped me to get here, and I was like, oh, you know, they're going to see me play for the first time, and I don't know, it was really kind of jittery, kind of hitting that first ball, but, you know, after the roar of the crowd, just this is where it's, where it's at, and, you know, what I've been working for and living for. The game itself was, well, a blowout. Even with BYU's top two killers of all time on the alumni team, they failed to win even one of the four sets. But they were able to hang with the young guns late in the second and third sets as Coach McGowan experimented with different lineups. The regular season begins January 4th when the Cougars host Hawaii at the Smith Fieldhouse. Brady Tucker, BYU TV Sports.